Uh, my name is uh, Graciano Garcia. Uh, many people know me as Rocky, and my job is an operator offshore. They're at a shell platform called Rampal. I'm 42 years old right now. Uh, I was born in a small town called Eagle Pass, Texas, raised in San Antonio. And in San Antonio, I guess that's really where I really started getting involved, uh, being more technical. And that's because of working with the uh, family appliance business with my mom and my dad. Uh, there with my mom and my dad, that's where I actually got involved being more electrical uh, inclined, uh, mechanically inclined, and overall start taking a little bit more responsibility. Uh, from there, uh, in high school, uh, I was taking a class called physics, and my instructor said, well, listen, well, what do you want to do for, for your career? What do you want to do for a living? You know, I, I kind of like to work with, with aircraft. He goes, you know what, you have a little bit more abilities on that. So it's like, okay, so what do you suggest? He goes, go into engineering. Engineering, I think, really is a bit more of, of a challenge for you. Uh, it's like, okay. So from there, I went into uh, Texas A&M University and started majoring in aerospace. And I was there for about one year, you know. And it's like, you know what, I kind of came back home to San Antonio, tried to save up some money because it gets a little expensive uh, been away from home and uh, so I came to San Antonio went to San Antonio College for about another year and really about six months being there I was like you know what I'm really not saving that much money because I have my high school buddies so and they like to go out and party and have some fun themselves and you know what I'm kind of wanting to save the money I'm not doing so so I decided to join the military uh, join a US Navy uh, did work as a uh, electronics technician working on the C-9Bs, very similar to the aircraft that we have here at the outside industry called the uh, DC-9s. Really enjoyed that. I really, really did. Later on, uh, while being actually in the military, I went to night school. And so I was going to night school, you know, while being a soldier during the daytime. And that's something that, you know, it took, took myself a lot of from the military life because I was constantly so busy. Uh, there I met my wife, got married. Uh, then I also finished up my, my degree. But I'm going to back up a little bit here. While I was in the military, and I had extended for one year, I was about six months before finishing my active duty. I had to sort of, I reached this fork on the road. Either I was going to go on with a military career, or I was going to finish up with school. I finished up with school, that was my decision. And that because I knew how to work with appliances, it kind of gave me that extra income that I needed as I was trying to finish up with my last class. Um, during Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm, things got pretty tense. You know, you kind of were being pulled in different directions. And that's during the time that my twin boys were born. You know, so I was really stretched out pretty thin. They were premature, they just came home. Our squadron got activated, and I'll tell you what, talking about having some tough nights trying to get some decent sleep, you know, that was a sort of a hard time in my, my life. Later on, uh, once I did finish up with school, we came uh, to Houston, and, and being here at Houston, I was looking for different positions, trying to work on something on, on my career field, because my degree is from Florida A&M University in Electronic Engineering Technology. And so about being a year here in Houston, I got a position to work out at NASA, at the Johnson Space Center here in Houston. Uh, worked there for about 13 years. Now during the time that I was actually working at NASA, but because I also knew how to work with the appliances, you know, I was kind of doing both things. You know, and then as you start moving up this ladder, uh, you know, you start becoming really busy. You know, and then you're wondering, it's like, okay, you're, you're being stretched to try to spend time with the family, try to repair the appliances that are out there, and then working at NASA. You know, so, you know, there was another time where I was like, you know, financially it wasn't really a struggle, but it's more like time. And so then time started becoming more of a driving factor. It's like, you know what, because I've already worked with appliances and I became busier with the appliance, I told my wife, you know what, you look for a, a storefront location. And once you decide on it, then I could see about train, making my transition from working at NASA full-time to working the business full-time. 
And sure enough, we did that, and we did we did this out of uh, the city of South Houston, and we had our full time business at a storefront about seven years, and it's actually this past September where we actually said, you know what, it's it's okay, let's go ahead and get away from being full time in the business, you know, overhead, a lot of other costs involved. Uh, it was pretty stressful with everybody, and I thinking that that it would have given me more family time. When in reality, it was pulling me away from the family. Because, you know, retail business kind of functions when people are actually home. And people are actually home after 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the evening. And so that's when I was actually doing my services. Well, my wife started telling me, well, listen, you know, here's how much income you're actually making. The profit, you know, after we have all these expenses. Yeah, we make some a lot of good money, but there's a lot of expenses. And so we had a lot of expenses. Then we... He said, you know what, I'm kind of better shape working out at NASA full time and not really doing the business. He goes, well, here we are doing the business full time. Then my next door neighbor, he was working at a Valero. And he said, you know what, uh, Rocky, he goes, I don't know how much you're actually making there at your business and how much you're actually working at, at NASA. But here, here we are, the month of August, and I'm already at six figures. I'm like, wait up. You're at six years here in the month of August. You still got September, October, November, December to go. He goes, well, how long did it take you to go to this type of training or studies? He goes, well, I just went to Jack, San Jack for two years. And I'm over here thinking to myself, geez, I have a four-year degree. And how old are you? I was asking my friend. He goes, oh, I'm about 25 years old. He goes, wait up. Hold on. 25 years old. You went to two years college. And I asked him, well, what about bonuses? Oh, my bonuses are anywhere between $4,000 to $6,000 a year. It's like, what? It's like, myself, I've been working at NASA for 13 years, and I only had one bonus, and that was for $100. So here, it didn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what was actually happening. He goes, he's got less schooling than I do. He's not as old as I am, you know, and I've been working on, on this... Uh, industry for about 13 years and yet he's making more than what I'm making and he's only been working on that field for about four or five years and says you know what I told my wife I gotta go back and I gotta make a career change and that's how it all got started that's how I actually got involved going to San Jack okay uh, being 42 years old and in this new career my first change was actually going back to school I kind of think that breaking the ice was after my first exam. After I got my first exam over and done with, it was, and then I saw my grade, it's like, you know what? <sighs> you know, you still got it. It's not so bad, you know? And that's kind of how I actually felt. Uh, a little uneasy at first, but things are, finally started fitting in place. Uh, most of my basics transferred over, in, in fact really all my basics, my English, my math, my sciences, and um, my technical writing, all those basic classes transferred over. I just had to only focus on my core classes, my process technology classes. It, it took me one full year, and we're talking starting on, yeah, on August of 2006 to actually completing my degree in August of 2007 just this year is when I actually finished my degree and again it was just one full year the very first day is kind of your your rougher day your adjustment day you know so you're not really doing very much or I mean you're doing things but you're not quite all there after your first night's sleep you know and your first decent meal you know after traveling so much and then you start to say okay here it is here's your routine you know you're gonna you may be joining the utilities team which may require as far as uh, working on valves uh, checking the pressures and certain pieces of equipment and then another week you might work with the the process team there where you're actually looking at how the fluid is actually going through the vessels how they separate what you're looking for um, the meals offshore are absolutely fantastic and if you're not careful you can gain a few pounds after six o'clock, which is when my shift ends, uh, you're, you're pretty much open to whatever you want to do. You could be uh, catch up on some reading, uh, internet, uh, check on your emails. 
uh, you could even use their exercise equipment. And also, of course, talking to your family at home. You kind of miss a whole bunch. Uh, the 14 days on with the family being affected, you kind of think that it really separates your family quite a bit, but in fact, it actually joins you a bit closer together. I guess you, when you're at home and you see things every, every time, every single day, you kind of take things for granted. But when you're away, you're like, you know what, you really start missing the little things, you know. Like maybe going to your kids' uh, ball games, you know. But this time, as far as being two weeks off, it's like, you know what, you get involved with not only those basketball activities you miss, but many other activities that you constantly miss while being uh, working somewhere else. So for me, I really enjoyed it, and I tell you what, I can't see many jobs doing this, uh, enjoying this kind of lifestyle.